Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! Let's check out the village of Ganelon. Or however you want to pronounce it. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if we can find that... What was his name? Domingo? Oh, well. Good for you, whatever works. This is just a one-screen village, by the way. It's not divided into sections like the previous towns. Hey, how's it going? What about a mirror? Do you need a mirror? How's it going? Ah, he's Domingo. Okay. You don't look like much of a monk. Oh. Well, that's weird. Nuts. No, no, well, I guess in a way he sent us here, but not directly. You saw what? Ah, okay. Well, that helps us out a bunch. Oh, okay. What's the worst that could possibly happen at night? You insolent fool! What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh. Well, yeah, she is the crafty one of the group. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, sounds like a plan. We can change it from day to night at the end? No. No, that's another game, viewers. Not in this one. I wonder what makes nighttime so special, though. I don't know. Well, let's see if we can find an inn around here. Not that we really need it with that fruit that I showed off in the previous episode. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Gotta have teamwork in the soil or something or other, I guess. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Well, let's check out the inn here, then. Hey, how's it going? Oh, nuts. What bed? There's only one bed in the whole inn, and she's not in it. Oh. If only. Oh. Well, we do have a cleric in our party. What do you mean, all these dying people? There's just the one. Really? Couldn't we just, I don't know, not worry about her grandmother? And just wait around for nighttime? Spoiler alert! No! We have to go through Ganensha Dungeon in order to progress with the plot instead of actually waiting around. Okay! Well, let's see what we got here at least. Maybe I can get something useful around here. Hmm? Oh, no, not really. What town hall? I don't know. But I do know that we have some treasure here. Hey, all right. Those can be useful. Let's see. If I can get to that flower pot or whatever that thing is. Ha-ha! little more antidotes. Not that I'm really going to need them at this point. But we might as well take what we can get. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's no vegetables or anything we can get out of here. Not a whole lot of treasure in this place. Whoa! What happened to that place? Okay, well, I think that's everything we can do here, so... Let's get out of here, and I'll show you where... Oh, there's another place here. Okay. I mean, I'll show you where Cadencia Dungeon is, but I don't want to go in there just yet. Oh! Yeah, good for you. I thought I saw a kid outside there, though, playing ball. 
Um, whatever works for you. What do they sell here, anyway? Anything I care about? No! Although they do have some stronger stat-boosting items that could be useful, although I'm not going to use them, but they are there. And, yeah, I wouldn't really worry about anything else they got there. So, yeah, let's just get out of here and, well, take a look around for Genensha Dungeon, then. There are some new abilities that I would like to learn for Henson. So I'm going to be fighting all the enemies on the way back. So I'll just, well, meet you once I've cleared all the monsters on this screen, at least. I don't think there's any more treasure in the desert areas, though. Whoa. Okay, here's something you can do if you get caught by an enemy. Just keep on running around with the mercury shoes forever. Eventually, the monster will get tired and stop following you. Oh. Okay, well, normally, the monster could, would stop following you, and you would be able to ambush them, potentially, again. But I screwed it up. So let's try that one again. Okay, took care of all those guys. By the way, don't go to the east, even though it looks like I can go to another screen. It'll just take you to the other side of the screen. So, yeah, don't do that. Let's see, how are we doing on my skills? Or skill points? Okay, I still need quite a bit more. Or, wait a minute, maybe I can do that now. What do we got? No, I, I do need 250 to get what I want. So I'll just keep fighting enemies here and I'll clear out this screen. Okay, took care of all the enemies on this screen. By the way, uh, do, do not... Let me get the map. Yeah, do not go south or west on this screen or you'll just loop around again, but I think I'll have enough SP, yes, to get what I want. Okay, let's see. Let's go up here. I think this is the one I want. Yes, okay, Blaze. And I like using Blaze when I'm fighting a group of enemies that are weak to fire, but, like, one of them's almost dead, so this way I can kill them off without completely sacrificing damage to the other enemies who are going to take longer to kill there. So, that's pretty nice. Let's see, what else did we get? I think I got a card? Yes, I did. Hmm. That would probably be pretty good for, yeah, Killian there. Hmm. Yeah, let's give that to you. That'll help out with the cross slashes and everything else I got. And, let's see, Spinel needs a little healing. Okay, we can go to our food. Why not? Awesome. By the way, as far as food healing goes, let's see, yeah, light healing is always 100 HP, and medium healing is always 200 HP. So, just something to keep in mind. If I recall correctly, large, or not large, yeah, large healing is 400 HP. Now, yeah, let's take a look around here first. Yeah, we would have had to go through all this place to normally get through the desert if you didn't take the shortcut that I did to get to St. Gurgis Monastery. So I'm kind of going through the area backwards, but it's totally worth it to get the Mercury shoes that I got there. Man, let's see what enemies we got here. If any of them will ever turn their back to me. Okay, we got, well, some new kinds of Glorans here. Snipers who are fairly quick, and Mage Glorans who not so quick. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the Hysteria, see how that works. Nuts. Hysteria has not been working very well for me today for some reason. Hmm. Okay, take him out, Killian. Oh, wow, I didn't expect you to hit him that hard. By the way, all the enemies in the Habsburg Plains area are weak to fire, so Henson would be really, really good in this place. I would not bother changing the element of a weapon, like with a fire gem, to this area, because, as you can see, the enemies here are pretty easy. You're probably intended to clear this area before clearing out the desert.
Okay, here we got another new enemy. Let's see, goons. These guys have a bit more HP than the others, but nothing we can't handle. Let's go with that. Hey, hey all right. That'll help us out a bit. Succeed where hysteria failed. <laughs> I like when he attacks. He's just like a madman. <laughs> I guess that might work. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think Blaze will be enough to kill that one guy. So let's go with something a bit stronger there. Awesome. Yeah, it might have been enough to kill them, but I didn't want to chance it. Ow. Hey, wow. Pretty good. And now we can pretty much just rely on our regular attack with properly timed hits, thanks to the Joker card. Awesome. Let's see, I think there's one more new enemy around here. I may or may not be able to meet up with them on this screen. I forget exactly. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, I didn't feel like waiting around for that guy to turn around or whatever. Or Okay, I think there's... Yeah, one more there. Okay, let's do one more quick run around. Just to make sure that they are all dead. I mean, it's not like they're going to be dead permanently, but I just like to make sure to be thorough with my kills. Okay, how are we doing on SP? Oh, yeah, we got quite a bit more to go. We need 270 to get the next ability that I want for Henson. Well. Okay, and there's what I think is the last new enemy here, bandits. And yeah, there's not a whole lot remarkable about them either. Okay, let's see. Well, they are pretty fast, as you can see by the turn order up there. Hmm. Yeah, let's go after the goons. Yeah, with only two enemies, I don't think it's worthwhile to use Hysteria. Maybe I could go with... Uh, whatever that was. A deadly Attraction, or whatever that other ability was called. Give it up. But these guys are not very threatening, so I don't really worry about that. Hmm. I'm wondering if Henson can finish them off. Probably. But I'll play it safe anyway. Yeah, sometimes the enemies will just turn around at the last second, no matter what you do, and you're just not going to get the ambush every single time. Kind of annoying. should have retreated. See, there's no treasure on this screen, so... Well, now all I gotta do is just clear all the enemies around here. And probably heal up a bit. Hmm. Yeah, we could use a good first aid there. I like using up my MP for healing first, before relying on food items, simply because, well, I get my MP restored whenever I gain a level anyway. Right now, I don't have anything better to do with guilds, so... Alright, well, I'll take a moment to clear all the enemies on this screen, and I'll be right back. Okay, took care of all the enemies here. Now, the path to the right will lead back to Habsburg, which I do want to go to eventually. But let's go up here first, towards Genentra Dungeon, so I can show you where to go if you want to go there to advance the plot. Okay, cleared out all the enemies here. Let's see how we're doing on SP. Ah, oh, man. I almost have enough. Oh, wow. One thing you'll notice about this area, since I'm going here in reverse order, is that the enemies aren't going to give as much experience. But it's still worth fighting them, because they'll still give the same amount of SP regardless. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, sure how the game scales experience. But my guess is that enemies that are sufficiently lower leveled than you will give less experience. Okay, so here's the entrance to the dungeon, but I don't want to go there just yet. 
First, let's grab some treasure. Not that I'm going to use it, but it's worth selling at least. And I want to head on back to Habsburg so you can see how we're supposed how we're supposed to get here and also to get back because yeah, there's going to be a fair amount of backtracking, but with the Mercury shoes, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's see. We also have enough SP. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh. Wrong thing I was looking at. Okay, we want to learn the next Thunder Elemental spell, so let's grab that. Yeah, unfortunately, the Lightning spells are only single targeting. Most of them, anyway. So it's not like Ice, where you have the single targeting ones, and then the multi-targeting ones, like you saw with Fire up there, but... Nah, that's okay. How are we doing on money? Mm, not bad. I might be able to buy another Might Ring before going... Well, where I want to go next. Let's see, how are we doing here? Okay, one more screen filled with monsters. I think. Well, stay away from me, man. Alright, last screen of monsters cleared. One thing about using confusion when you're fighting monsters, I don't really care about it causing enemies to attack each other. I don't care about that at all. All I care about is that it incapacitates the enemies so they won't be hitting me. And for 50 MP, that's a bargain for Spinel because she doesn't really have anything else better to do. Okay, we're back at the entrance to uh, Habsburg here, but there's a couple things I want to buy now that I have a bit more money. And I've got some good stuff to sell, too. I'm not going to buy any more uh, armor or anything like that. Let's see, I think this guy sells what I'm looking for. Let's see, what have I got to sell? Oh, yeah, we got these elemental things that upgrade the elemental resistance stats of your equipment, but I wouldn't even bother with them. They're much better used for well, money and stuff instead of boosting your equipment. But plus one elemental resistance is negligible. It's not even worth thinking about. Let me see if I got something else to sell here, too, because I could use a bit more money. Hmm. Maybe I could sell some of my strong potions. Or, let's get rid of the cayenne powders. I'll never use those. Hmm. Maybe if I just sold one of those, that would work. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so I need 30,000 for another one of the might rings that I want to get. And I want to buy a monster compendium. You don't need to buy this if you already know what enemies what their elemental weaknesses or what their elemental attacks are but i just want to get it so i can show it off and yeah that's not a significant amount of money to be worried about and let's see yeah i'll rest up at the end eventually but i do want to get another one of those might rings now instead of going to the genenser dungeon we have an optional dungeon that we can go to that i would like to go to first Hey, how's it going? Oh, Tucker. Isn't that the name of one of the... The guys in Star Trek Enterprise or something? I haven't watched that one as far as Star Trek series goes. I didn't think he was an engineer, though. Come to think of it, I have no idea who's the engineer on that show. Oh, okay. So what do you got there? Oh, really? Does it have advanced technology? Oh, well, yeah, we can try that out if you want to. So you just talk to them, you can warp, go here, and you get an optional dungeon to go to that has some pretty good treasure, some reasonably challenging enemies. Yeah, the enemies are probably going to be about level 28 to 34 or so around there. So, yeah, that'll really help, help us get even stronger than we were before. But I do want to buy another Might Ring before going there. Let's see, who do I give this one to? I'll give it to Killian, because he's the only one who I have a multi-targeting ability for. Obviously, we don't want to give it to Henson, because he doesn't have physical attacks. So, 
yeah, he wouldn't have any use for it. Now, we do have two accessory slots here. So in order to equip one in the second slot, you just select it and it, it goes there. So yeah, we can equip up the two might rings that gives us, they stack additively. So 15, two of them. So we get 30% more attack power and that'll be really nice for killing him. But what amazing stuff can we find in the Ziggurat at this point in the game? Find out next time on Let's Play Crimson Gem Saga! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!